nice to have you here. I am in Nigeria. What what brought you to Nigeria and how has it been so far? Um, okay, so I've always wanted, you know, to come to Nigeria. Like I've never lived South Africa and this is like my first international trip. And, you know, being in the Big Brother house, we've always spoke about how, you know, we really, really, really love, you know, the opportunity to just kind of come and explore Nigeria. So when the opportunity arose, I was like, what? Say no more. I'm packing my bags and I'm on that plane and I'm leaving. So yeah, and now I'm in Lagos, Nigeria. I can't believe it. That's amazing. So let's just get right into the question. Right. Yeah. What was the first thing you did after you were evicted? I bought a bottle of wine. <laughs> I had been asking that man for wine since I entered the doors of that house and all he did was give us beer on beer on beer on beer. So the first thing I did was get myself a bottle of wine because I was like, mm, beaten. And you know what? The worst part is immediately after we got evicted, the same night he brought wine into the house. I was like, wow, say. You got wow. what you wanted. <laughs> all right. Oh, what do you like the most about the Big Brother Titans house? I really enjoyed, you know, exp like being in the house with people from a different country. You know, I got to learn so much about Nigeria and, you know, you guys come from such a rich and diverse country. And it was such a, it was such a fun experience. You know, I really enjoyed the time I spent with all the Nigerians in the house. Um, because when I was auditioning, I was like, I know I'm South African, but like I've been South African all my life. I've been surrounded with South Africans all my life. I'm trying to explore Nigeria. Like I want a different experience. I want to explore the culture, the food, the people. So that's definitely what I did. And that's what I got from it. And I loved every minute of it. That's amazing. Okay, let's do something experimental. All right. right? Without mentioning a name, mm -hmm. we want you to describe someone from the BB Titans house in five words. Okay. And then we'll leave it to the audience to figure who you described. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Smart. Caring, funny, energetic, beautiful. All right, let's play a short this or that game. Okay. Delivery or sit down restaurant? Sit down restaurant. Call or text? Call. High heels or flats? Oh, heels, baby, every day. Yes, oh, yes, day. yes, girl. Okay, long hair or short hair? Long hair. Instagram or TikTok? Instagram. Okay. What did you discover about yourself in the house that you didn't know before? Um, that I need to set certain boundaries for myself. Mm. Wow. What's the sweetest thing you've read about yourself since you left the house? The sweetest thing? Yo, I, it's, geez, I'm having, now I'm getting like a brain crash because I've been hearing so many sweet things. Like, oh, where do I even start? Um, people just really enjoyed the fact that I was genuinely just being myself and I was being authentic. So I really love that. We love that. Mm -hmm. What's the most uncomfortable thing about being on camera 24-7? Sleeping. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> well, let's do a tongue twister. Are you ready? Okay. Yes. So you say these words five times. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Are you ready? All right. The hurt hunter ought to head home. The hurt hunter ought to head home. The head hunter ought to head home. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll, we'll give you a bonus for that. <laughs> what was the highlight of your stay in Big Brother's house? Um, I have two. Uh, first, definitely my birthday. I uh, absolutely, absolutely enjoyed my birthday. That was the best birthday of my life. Like in my thirty-one years of living, I've never, ever, ever had such a beautiful, just special. You know, like there's just something special about it. And I, oh man. That day, I was in tears the entire day. Like, my makeup was smashed the whole day. Um, that and the day we got paid. All right. So the last question and our favorite question for you or to you. Mm -hmm. Lastly, we saw that Marvin came to pick you up at the airport. <laughs> How would you describe your relationship with him right now? Marvin and I are really good friends. With a smile. After. <laughs> um, is that, like, am I supposed to be mad when I'm talking about my friend? Okay. <clears throat> Marvin and I are really good friends. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. <laughs> Thank you so much, Yaya. Yeah. It's Thank been so you. much fun, you know, having <laughs> you on our seat. We hope you enjoy your stay in Nigeria. And so wish much. you love and light Thank from you. Bella Niger and Desperado. So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much. Hey, hi. It's How are you doing? Very well. Very good to have you on our seat. 
Good to have you as well. Okay, so first thing first, how are you feeling right now? Woo, I'm feeling good. It's been like, this is like second day now, I feel, you know. At first, like at first it was like a shock, like coming out of the Big Brother house. But now it's like, it's calm. Yeah. It's calm. You're, you're kind of getting the hang of it. Yes, now, yeah, now I got the hang of it. And, you know, just knowing that everything happens for a reason mm -hmm. and God got a plan, you know. So everything is calm now. We love the energy. Yes. All right. So you, you've starred in America's Got Talent. Mm -hmm. and Netflix The Circle mm -hmm. and now you start in Big Brother Titans what has been the goal for you? Oh the goal for me like with all this reality TV was like a thing where I kind of just I actually just wanted one right I actually just wanted one and it was actually Big Brother Niger and then I applied for I applied for that but it so happened that then after I did that my brother was like ah, how about you look into like other shows that's going on that's going on, which is what that was going on in the USA. And then I looked into um, other ones going on and I just applied and I applied, but then some casting director reached out to me. Then it was just a thing where like, everything just started coming in. Like everything just started coming in. Then I just, at some point it was actually like, um, yeah, at some point that it was like with the circle, you know, even at some point it was like circle and too hot to handle. It was like, you know, which one are you going to go to? There was just so much flooding and that's what happens when, you know, when God has a purpose for you, you know, when you're, when you have God by your side. And we can't wait to see the magic that Ma Marvin has to, you know, would, would show us. Yes, the Marvin's magic, the magic Marvin. Oh, that's what they actually call me in Big Brother House with the Valentine's thing. I was doing my thing, the magic Marvin. <laughs> okay. All right, let's uh, go to the next question. So now we want to put Marvin on the spot. Are you ready? Ah, bring it on. Okay, so bring there was on. Marvin and JP. Mm -hmm. There was Marvin and Blue Ava, mm -hmm. and now there's Yaya in the picture. Marvin, mm -hmm. give us the gist. We'll let Is that all of it? We'll let you spill it. <laughs> Tell us what's up. Oh uh, no, um, yeah, with with everything going on, um, you know, it's like you know, in Big Brother house, you know, for me, I went in there all natural, all being myself, but. You know in the real life right you tend to like meet somebody and then you kind of learn about the person if you don't like the person they kind of may move on to next person you no know, stuff like that right or you might like somebody and maybe encounter somebody else and be like hey i'm talking to this you know it, it was just kind of the same thing in the house where like but the thing was we were, we were all in one house where like at first i got to know yaya i got to know yaya when i didn't even know people's name so it was like a thing where like okay um it's good to know you, but let me also get to like meet other people. And then I got to meet JP. I got to meet Blue actually. And you know, it was like a connection thing, but I wasn't really sure. Then JP came around and you know, so it was just like, just getting to like know and then kind of decide like, and I think at the point I was almost like drifting towards like JP until she got evicted. You guys probably saw that. I was spending a lot more time with her. She got evicted then it was like a thing where, oh, okay. Now Blue is like, hey, okay, now. I I get to know blue, you know, so it's, it's just one of those things. I think I was taking my time to know somebody, but I think when I started getting to know JP, he was like, yo, she was evicted. And, you know, I was kind of like sad at the time, like, yo, you know, but yeah, it was just a thing where I was just getting to know, you know, just getting to know people and getting to know like the different, like all the females in the house. In the house. Okay. <laughs> good, good job, my baby. Okay. So let's, now that this, you said this, right, mm -hmm. let's now talk about Yaya. Yes. Is there any chance you push you something with her? Oh, absolutely. Like, there's definitely a chance. Like, you guys saw it. Yeah, yeah, it's like, uh, she's she's perfect. Like, you know, she's beautiful. She's very caring. Like, she's like, yo, like, she's nice. She took care of me, like, heavily. Like, and something about me is, like, I want, like, I always, I actually said that coming to Big Brother House, like, the kind of female that I'll be attracted to is some, someone that's caring. And I mean, you guys saw that she was very caring to me. So definitely, definitely, I can see myself like, you know, moving forward with Yaya. And we, we actually are like, you know, in terms of like connection, like we connected a lot in the house and coming outside the house, it's something, is a connection that I, I know that's just going to like grow. So okay. we'll see where that goes. We appreciate you know. the honesty. Absolutely. Marvin's <laughs> only going to keep it 100. Love it. Did you have any lessons you learned from the show and what were they? Uh, you know what? I feel like I'm learning my lessons now that I'm outside the show. Actually knowing that, well, now that I'm outside the game, knowing that it's actually a game that I was playing, you know? To me, I thought I was just going in there and, you know, just, you know, just living, just living in the Big Brother house. Of course, there's money in line, but I didn't really know that, like, the audience actually, like, 
know like this is a game like you have to go in there with like some crazy strategy and all that i didn't i didn't know about all that so that's something that i definitely learned like you know is the game and and yeah and yeah, that's what i learned okay